Good evening, I'm Margaret Pomerantz, and I can afford the fine, so I park wherever I want. This week, I've been watching Netflix series Too Hot to Handle, a show in which half-naked young people are released on an island for our voyeuristic pleasure. We found the hottest, horniest, commitment-phobic swipesters. But this isn't just another instalment in the saturated island horn dog genre with an M. Night Shyamalan-worthy twist, adding a tantalising wrinkle. You will have to abstain from sexual practices for the entirety of your stay. That means no kissing, no heavy petting or sex of any kind. This will also apply to self-gratification. What does that mean? No masturbation. No masturbating. <gasps> Reminds me of the barbaric rules at my local IGA. With financial penalties for rule breaches, contestants face the ultimate Sophie's choice between cash and freaky island nookie, showing laudable poise amidst palpable torment. Oh. Oh. I looked at Chloe this morning and I'm thinking, hashtag blowy. Hashtag riveting. Of course, like all great cinematic heroes, these characters have flaws, with an Orwellian-like authority scrutinising even minor missteps. The list of offences includes kissing, inappropriate touching of the <laughs> constant use of the <laughs> in the <laughs> not to mention the Yet, despite their faults and dalliances with there's a real depth to these characters, and they're all too human struggles. It's blue balls, a real thing. It takes a lot of strength to get naked and just rub mud on each other. What I'm most proud of is my penis. And why not? Too Hot to Handle is a perfect blend of love, lust, and Randy Boom Boom that truly sizzles the sirloin. Never been this amount of time where I've gone without beating my own meat. Join me next week as I review Vanilla Ice Goes Amish. Vanilla Ice has a brand new project. You better believe it. I'm going Amish. If there's a problem, yo, he'll solve it. I'm Margaret Pomerantz. Good evening.